Hi there, it's Casper uh, here. I'm in uh, Wall Street with perhaps the most uh, iconic um, symbol of um, corporate America there behind me. I'm just going to step over to the, uh, the bull, of course. Um, I'm just going to step away because clearly it's very busy here and there's uh, lots of uh, crowds of uh, people. But uh, look, I'm here in, uh, in Wall Street and it got me thinking about uh, money because uh, clearly this is one of the, uh, the wealthiest places in the world and uh, literally uh, billions have uh, been made here. Now, yeah, a lot of people that I know, the uh, key driving force for them is all about creating financial freedom. Now, that was my driving force for a number of years as well. And I, you know, I had that as my, my ambition, my goal to go and create financial freedom. And what I find fascinating is all the time I was driving for that, I never actually achieved that on its own, whilst that was my primary focus. And it actually took um, a different uh, journey for me to be able to create financial freedom for uh, us and our family. And it was much more to do with creating a personal vision of what was truly important to us as a family. Because financial freedom sounds great, and we hear the, the phrase a lot, but what does that actually really mean to you and to your family? Why is financial freedom so important? And yeah, it was a big shift that, that we as a family made to paint a really rich, vivid picture of that and then to work out what was the, the number, how much money did we actually need? What did financial freedom actually represent to us? So we went um, a step deeper than just having that uh, financial freedom as a goal. But, you know, what we discovered, um, or what I discovered on my, on my journey, because I was so driven by that, uh, that creating that, that personal goal, is that I went to lengths that I never went to before, legal and moral, of course, um, but in terms of making things happen. And I had to learn more than ever before. And one of the, the big um, things that I, that I found was this whole thing about how do you grow a business and then to be able to extract yourself from it because it's all very well growing a business but you need to be able to take money out of that business and release your time from it because so many entrepreneurs that I know they're busy growing a business but they have basically just gone and got a job inside a company which happens to be run by them so they've traded a boss from whatever their previous world was into in my case the worst boss in the world working for myself and there's a huge difference between being an entrepreneur and working for yourself and then actually being able to realize money from that and back in my corporate world i used to specialize in uh, selling companies so helping entrepreneurs to exit their businesses I had five years doing that so i had a really good insight into the mindset and approach of entrepreneurs who had built businesses. But again, that's a different thing to actually going and doing it yourself. And you know, my journey was then, how do I go and build teams of businesses that can run without me? And that was a really, really crucial shift. Because in the um, earlier years of uh, running my business, it was all about me, and uh, actually my ego was a large part of it as well. And I had to figure out how did I grow a business that was not dependent on me. And you know, there was there was a lot wrapped up in, in that. And I came to you know one of the, the phrases that I was used that it's um, it's all about we and not me. And uh, there's, there's a lovely um, African proverb which is if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And that, for me, is all about building a team. But it's great to say those words, but what do they actually mean? And how can you translate that into practical things that you and your business can be able to use and leverage so that you can grow your businesses, so that you can go and then achieve whatever it is that sits beyond financial freedom for you? And so, being here in, uh, in Wall Street just got me to thinking about money and, uh, and how you do that. And as I start to reflect on my own expertise and my own journey, I kind of seem to have specialised in creating businesses that no longer need me, which is that's a bizarre statement to make, but actually it's a rather wonderful statement to make, because that for me is the essence of building a business. A, bu a business, in my mind, is something that you design to serve you and what it is that you want to do personally. So what I am looking to do is to set up um, a private group 
Uh, I can't pr call, probably call it something like the, um, the uh, brave entrepreneur because it takes bravery to go and take some of the, the steps and the journey that I, that I went on. And in that uh, private group, then I will be sharing all my journey of um, what um, I did and the, and the shifts and the transformations that, that I had to make in order to, to grow that business. And there's, there's a lot of things wrapped up in that. It's not a simple sort of, you know, one second, uh, one sort of sound bite answer. There were many different shifts that I had to make. And, you know, I haven't just done that once, I've done that multiple times in different businesses. So, look, if that is something that would be of interest to you, then just make a comment below, just say, yes, I would like to learn more about this. And if you would like to be one of the founder members of this uh, group, it will be a paid group. I'm gonna be sharing you know, my best knowledge, my best insights, which is all about helping you to liberate yourself so that you can go and design the business that fits your lifestyle and what it is that you want to do. So I will be talking not just about financial freedom, but what sits behind that and why do you want that, and then take you on the journey and the steps that I've discovered. So um, it's quite noisy behind me here, and I hope this video hasn't been too irritating uh, with it uh, moving around. But um, look, so that, that's what I'm looking to set up. So something, um, we may call it the Brave Entrepreneur or something like that. Um, you know, if you've got any good ideas of what we might call it, um, then I'll, I'll certainly uh, let, let me know. But that's, uh, that's my plan, to help other people to find that their things, to go on that journey which helps to liberate them from their business. Because another thing I remember is that I used to feel that I was, although I created my businesses, that I also felt trapped by them. That I couldn't actually escape from them and I was very much tied to it. I used to think, you know, I'm, I'm the person who knows how to do this best and if I walk away from this, then the business will collapse. And certainly we had that, that risk and that um, concern on several of the ventures, but we found a way through it. And again, that's the journey that I'd like to take you on. So look, uh, yeah, just drop um, a comment in, uh, in below. And um, I look forward to sharing more details with you about uh, this group for entrepreneurs who want to build a business that enables them to liberate themselves to go and do what's truly important to them in life. So this is Casper uh, in Wall Street, out.